Welcome back to a rather long-awaited uh, Pokemon Yellow Massacre's Run Part Six. Uh, I've been neglect—I have neglected to do this for a while, but that was just because I've been really busy these last few weeks. Um, I've been loaded—I've been bombarded with work and other social life. Now I can actually pick up from uh, where I left off. So my next opponent here is going to be Erica. Now I know you've always uh, noticed if you have been watching these videos or not that. I have the commentaries, uh, guest commentators with me. This one I'm doing, for this one I'm just gonna do solo, so I'm gonna see, find out how, um, well I can do in this one. Um, I'm gonna see if I can adjust one shot Erica as, uh, fast as I possibly can. Now, she has three Pokemon. She's going to have, I think, Weeping Bell, Tangela, and Gloom. Now, if, if you know, in, um, in Pokemon's, um, Red and blue, she has a victory bell and a viral plume. This was a pure grass type. We don't have like any poison moves, but we can still glare it. Like so. So hopefully we won't be able to always oh, use them bind. Alright then fine. Bind is basically the same as wrap. You just basically get caught in this um bind. But thankfully though, now I can just paraflinch. No, I would use dig, dig with Arbok, but grass types, I think, are resistant to um, ground moves. I think so, yeah. So, yeah, we could just hopefully the Paraflinch, Tangela, or Tangela, if people like to call it. I, I call it tang Tangela, but Tangela, I think, is actually the proper pronunciation for it. Give me a second as I roll the volume. There we go, I think you should be able to hear me better now. I know we're only two minutes in, and... There we go. So far, I've not gotten caught a single flinch. Which is actually kind of interesting. Oh well. But yeah, Arbox is really a good Pokemon to have in this one, because if you give it uh, Acid, then it can do wonders against Tangela, but otherwise, you're better off teaching it like a ground move or something. It's a level 32 Weeping Bell. Oh, great. Sleep Powder. Wonderful. I wonder if I have an Awakening for it. Um, let's see. Awakening. I got some. And it's going to try to use Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a pretty powerful move, especially when it gets critical hits off. But because it is a Poison type, it should not be that very effective. Alright, we're just able to outspeed Weeping Bell. We should be able to one-shot with Dig. At least I hope so. Not quite. Well, that's, not ex that's to be expected because of uh, Arbok's uh, lack of stab. And oh great, my defense fell. But I'm about to dig another hole. And... Oh, I almost have it. Our box defense fell again, so we'll just bite it. Yeah, there we go. All right, our box is two and zero here, and a grill level. Lovely. So now we'll be facing Gloom. Gloom's level is thirty-two. Is actually also rather high. Oh, he turned away. That's the pain of having traded Pokemon on your side. It's going to eventually just disobey you, and that got him killed. So, I'm going to send out, um, Parasect next. Now, Parasect, I know people call it one of the worst Pokemon in existence, and I don't disagree. But it's rather necessary at this point. There you go. Fall asleep. And I shall leech your life. And... I'm sure you guys have already known this by now, but in first generation, poison was weak to bug, which didn't make sense because bugs always been weak to poison. So they're both basically just weak to each other. Thankfully, after second generation, they fixed that. So that's that's a little bit of a, an error, you know, if, as far as the game's coding goes. So if you had like a parasect with you, then you could pretty much just wreck Erica's gloom, kind of like that. And there you go. So we win this one. 
And hopefully in the uh, next gym leader battle, um, or even next rival after the next rival battle and up to the next gym leader battle, you will see another new uh, Pokemon added to the team. And believe me, they're worse Pokemon than Parasite and Arbok. Take care.